go. Guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Pal World. And in this video, I am going to show you how to get a hold of a legendary rocket launcher. Now, they're super useful, obviously, and it's just a random chance. And I'm going to show you where, how, and how to maximize those chances. Now, just so you can see, here's my legendary assault rifle. Here's my legendary pump action. And now the next thing we want to do is get a legendary rocket launcher. Now, it is actually something that is easy to do. It's just a repeated process. And assuming it's something that you're going to be doing in the long term anyways, you might as well get it done. So basically, the simple fact is you have to go after Jet Dragon now or Jet Dragon, whatever you want to call him, right? We're going to go ahead and head over there and you have to either capture or defeat him. However, there's a slightly better way to do that, and I'll talk about that in just a second here. But if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below, below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's the only plug I got. So you can see I've got my Jet Dragon out right now. And uh, yeah, so basically the rule of thumb is in order to get these uh, technical manuals, if you want to call them that, or schematics or whatever you want to call them, right? There is a 3% chance from each of the boss that corresponded with them. Now, the Jet Dragon is one that actually has the uh, the rocket launcher attached to it. So there's a 3% chance each time you either defeat or capture the Jet Dragon. Now, here's the thing. You always want to capture it because you can actually double your chances to 6% if you use the butchering knife, which is right here, right? And you get the you get a second chance at actually getting the schematic. A schematic is random. It's a 3% drop rate, right? But it's a big difference because, go ahead and hop off Jet Dragon here. Um, when you use it, so you can see that my assault rifle inventory is actually increased to 30. And then my pump action shotgun actually has 12 shots instead of the 6, which is in the base area. Now it also does more damage, has more durability, and it's just better overall. So you can see there's the Jet Dragon right there. And we're going to go ahead and fight him real quick. Now it is, a, again, it's not a high probability. So the probability of us actually getting this is not super great, but it is what it is, right? So we're going to go ahead and fire some of these uh, very effective weapons against this guy, because dragons really are the only ones that are effective against dragons. Which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Come on. Thank you. I was like, what is going on here? Oh no, that's going to hurt. Yep, that hurt. Thought it would. All right, so notice how uh, he's already down a thousand health. You can do whatever you want to do in order to fight him, but uh, it's up to you, obviously. So if you get close, um, you can use your shotgun on the head. The head is the best thing you can shoot on this guy because it does the most damage. But be careful because he is doing a lot of damage to you as well, probably. Okay, so. If you have a rocket launcher, just to show you how much damage they do, there is 285 right there, so it's not all that great. Okay, really? You're gonna you gonna do this? So there's 309. Um, you can see that it's not really worth it in my opinion. But if you have a good oh boy, come on. If you have a good assault rifle, you can keep aiming for the head, and the head is probably one of the best things that you can shoot on your jet dragon. Um, there we go. Come on. Okay, really. So, if you don't know how to do the moves, wow, really? Like, what just happened here? I have, like, way too much. Weight was crazy. He must have killed something, and I happened to be the negative consequence of that one. But, anyway, so the jet... Wow, he is destroying my inventory. <laughs> 4,000? Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. So, um, yeah, so do the power roll. Um, it's definitely one of the most effective things when you're trying to not get killed by this boss. Uh, 5,000 health, so he's about halfway. Uh, if you do not have another jet dragon in order to fight this guy, some of the best things that you can do is actually carry one of the gliders because the gliders will actually allow you to avoid a lot of the damage. I can't tell which one's which. Um, there we go. Come on now. That's mine. Oh, goodness. That's the only negative, right? So if you have other pals, you can use like a frost stallion. Stallions work pretty well against him. Okay, really? Thank you. It's like, what's going on here? Um, so avoid these. These hurt a lot. And then just keep going after him. A Frostallion will freeze him in place, allowing you to get quite a few free shots off on him, dropping him quite a few health. And... There we go. Under 2,000. We're getting some extra damage because the uh, highly effectiveness of Frostallion against Jet Dragon. Ow! That wasn't very nice. Alright, so now that he is nice and low on health we want to be careful so usually what i'll do at this point i'll pal sphere up my pal and then i'll get him a little bit lower 
And we're sitting at what? We're getting close. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little bit careful here. We're at 307, so I'm going to go ahead and use an Ultra Sphere just to get him in the ball. Now, the reason you want to use an Ultra Sphere first is you can kind of set up being behind him if you really want to. It's just going to catch him on my first try. Take luck. Take luck. Alright, so you can see that we did not get the actual thing, but we did get the Pure Quartz, the Polymer, Precious Dragon Stones, and then the Ancient Civilization parts. Now, now that we've done it, there's two strategies. One, we can go back to our base and use the Meat Cleaver and cleave him, and there's a chance that he will drop that legendary uh, thing as well. Or you can continue to breed them and go about it that way, but that's up to you what you want to do. Um, so you ha I mean, actually, you have to do the boss, so it's got to be a boss that you actually Meat Cleave. So you can come back here, give or take, once every day they will respawn, once every in-game day. And uh, that allows you to come back on a regular basis in order to fight this boss. So you just have to keep doing it, and uh, you will get a 3% chance each time. So, you know, give it, I mean, sometimes it takes 20, 30 tries. I know it sucks, but I got this one in like 3. I got this one in 10, so it happens. It, it's just a random chance. So you can bring pals that'll increase your uh, luck. It just depends on the actual pal that, you're, that you have in place. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. So hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach out.